do you remember our Hoover 825 from 1935 that we got for free off of Facebook, crikey, five years ago, the before video went out at the time of filming this, the almost after video, she is stage one complete, 100% mechanically, 100% electronically and slightly polished restored not cosmetically but good a time as any to revisit this see how it works now after a full strip down and refurb as you can see it does have limitations in the modern world and yeah we'll give it a go and i shall demonstrate to you how an 87 odd year old hoover can work as good as new let's have a look Yes, hello, my vintage Hoover chums. How are you today? Yes, I've got a coffee can done. These are called coffee can Hoovers primarily because the top apparently looks like a can of coffee. I think it's an American thing. These are certainly beautiful old machines pre-World War II. And yeah, this one is now safe to touch even when it's plugged in. Which is very nice indeed, and yeah, cosmetically, she still needs some work. I need to paint the handle, it's too cold for that. I need to maybe give it another couple of polishes, but it's certainly good enough for now. So it's also massive, so I think what we'll probably do is start at the top and work our way down. Now, the top here is very, 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 very perished, sadly, this is very common on these old hoovers obviously pre-war rubber and yeah it's certainly good enough you know you hold it away enough from the damage that it's not going to cause a concern but yeah it is a bit of a problem next we'll take the flex off and <laughs> there's no such luxuries as moving cord hooks on here however what we do have once i take this very long flex off is actually the flex from a Kirby Avalier 100 that I had in to do some work for Mr. James. It was broken at the end that plugs into the Kirby. So I cut it down and then I cut the moulded plug off, if I come around here, to fit this look. This is the one that we fitted to the machine way back when. A contactum plug. Very nice indeed. Bakelite, I have been told made in England and yeah I even kept the Kirby cord hook on it in fact yes it does will you focus there we go look there's the Kirby logo on our vintage hoover but it's a very nice rubbery flex and that's all that matters now the bag bag is meh. let's take it off because of this I, I can't remember now if this is the bag that came with the machine or not. To take the bag off actually it is lovely. Down here you just turn these, half a turn and off comes the bag. This is the second worst, second best of the three bags that I have. Can't remember which one came with this machine because they all sit together. This may not even be the correct bag holder. This is just one that I found. And sadly this is the bag which is just falling apart. I mean, you know, this bag could be I mean, this could be from the 700 and be even older. I don't know, really. That's what will treat them all the same. But it's not the worst and it's not the best. It's just good enough for a photograph. And <laughs> that's why it was sitting quite loosely on there. OK, so with the top half done, I mean, the handle still has its original wiring in it. It was pretty good, actually. So I left it in there. And the reason it's probably pretty good is I think it's not the original handle because these should be a three speed, well, so two speed and off motor. This is a single speed with just an on off on the handle. So that's a little bit annoying in that, you know, it could be three speed, but it's not. But I haven't converted it yet. It's still three, it's still two speed. It's three speed up to the handle bail, but two speed everywhere else. Right, let's go down below. Gosh, it's heavy as well. Because the magical, beautiful thing about this machine is here, really. These Art Decos are so 
so gorgeous. There's a couple of different variants of 825. Mine is this one with the square top. And yes, my square top isn't on properly. The rivets came off for polishing and it sort of sits there. I've got all the rest of them, but I need to stick it on really and make the rivet sort of appear quite nice. But it's good enough for now. Going around the back, we have this version of the, oh gosh, I've got to try and rest it on my knees, of the height control where you twist this knob. And if you watch the pointer there, as I turn it, it will move. Look as we're going up and down. Fucking cutting edge for the 1930s underneath. We'll have a look at underneath shortly. Although, yeah, mine is a little bit battered. You can see that she certainly got her fair share of scuffs and scrapes. This bit is very perish but has, has sort of just turned to plastic, so that's okay. We'll, we'll concentrate more on that later. Yeah, very, and I've, and I've straightened it out. This is probably the second most sad bit. This is a humongous bolt. These and the back one are the originals. This one has just been drilled in, and I can't really do much about it because the hole for this has been made bigger. This, this bit is broken, and this will only work. So, yeah, a little bit of a shame there. The second... Worst part is, oof, here look where the handle bail itself has been brazed, soldered together and then bolted together. So again, practically perfect, you know, it does the job, it makes it usable, but again, she's never going to be a minter. And that's before you get to the fact that, I mean, I've polished this with wire wool and auto sole, but it needs a good old sand to get rid of the scuffs and the scrapes and where is it here look look there's a crack in the aluminium something's hit it so hard from underneath that it's just gone boop, and pushed it all through so yeah but you know again it's 80 something years old it's fine oh we'll, that, we'll pull this over so i don't scrape the top on the laminate flooring but yes the hoover does indeed make the carpets last longer. Although we're not going to take the brush roll out now, we can take the belt guard off and she has a belt on her. We might have a look at changing that later on in the video because I think it might be a little bit loose. But yeah, good brush is on the brush strips. Couldn't take those out. Didn't really, was able to. But yeah, it's all there. It's all good. It's all clean. It's as shiny as it's probably going to get. I'm sure Mr Hooverlux could do a much better job than I can. Ah, look, there's another crack there, look. Somebody's tried to go through the fan case, because, yeah, all the dirt, oh, just fire straight out the back. In fact, look, here's our fan, look. If I turn that, oh, that's, that's very loose. You know what I mean, the fan turns. And, yeah, we also have these half cam lock. These are what hold the bag flange onto the machine. Talking of the bag flange onto the machine, I think it's time we fitted that on, get set back up, we'll pull this rug central, and I'll show you how she sounds. <sighs> right then. The second oldest electric cleaner that I have comes like new. It is beautiful to use. It's even grooming. An absolute treat. I mean, the belt's quite worn on it, but the problem is I think they're different to the sort of senior 652 Ranger-style belts that I have. I don't want to put any undue strain on anything because it's running so, so well. Right, the next thing we're going to do is to have a look at the headlight. And 
Audio might go a little bit funny here because I'll knock it right down so you don't get too destroyed by it. Although we might we might have it on full power to start with. It is a sewing machine now. Absolutely brilliant, really. It was grooming far better than I thought. It is set just right. However, I don't know if you noticed or not, but there wasn't any actual dirt down, although I dare say it's probably picked up some anyway. That's... <laughs> there we go. Look, that's literally just come out of pretty much this rug. Because, yeah, I do not want to be using this bag as much as it looks lovely for the after video and for fancy photographs. It is no good, really, for normal use because of, it will just destroy itself when it's washed. So we are going to do some bodging. And the bodging actually starts with... Very tatty box of genuine Hoover dusting tools. Yes, I know. Bear with me. These came from my good friend Joe and were sat underneath his storage container for many years. Came from late Alan and his hall. And yeah, the box is pretty much destroyed. I mean, it, 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 it's all about this stuff in here. But we do have some tools. We have an hose. Don't know how good or bad that will be. We have the pan converter slash hose adapter thing we have oh, i didn't actually see all that writing on there that the hoover dusting brush patented in all principal countries of the world wow that half those countries don't exist anymore crevice to extension wonder bin. it's all quite rusty but it's fine because of course stage two on this is going to be getting the black paint out and chucking some at it so these can be done as well and yeah we now have ourselves a lovely set of tools uh this is the first thing we should probably work out if this hose is any good or if we need to bodge it immediately so let's go get a sort of known good suction vacuum cleaner because it doesn't feel particularly fantastic and it probably won't be so hey we'll keep it in the family look with a hoover yes i'm filming this in january of 2023 uh, so I'll put that on there. Yeah, she's not. Oh. The, the problem is I can't really fit anything to it. How do you? Do you click it. Yeah, it's all sort of the wrong, the wrong fitment really. I, I should have found a 32 mil vacuum rather than this thing, but. Hoses. I mean, there is some suction. This is pretty much sealed under my hand. Yeah. Is that... The hose is no good, Sam. It is okay in a way, because what I really want to do is take the ends out and just fit a black hose so we can actually use it but we'll give it some photographs for now we've proven at least that it works now the tool fitment on one of these is brilliantly simple really you take this part off of here then you take the belt off put that out of the way then you take your pan converter and these bits 
myself against there. It's not actually a pan converter, is it? It's like a fan guard. But it effectively sits on there like that. And now, oh, in theory, we should have a suction cleaner rather than an upright cleaner. Bad. I mean, it's going to be absolutely terrible by the time you click this on. I mean, there's going to be nothing now. But... Yeah, as I feared, sadly. Oh, that's no good. I wonder if you're the right fitment. Oh, Hoover, it's so close. It's so close. Let's see if I can find something to just temporarily bodge into this hole. I mean, pneumatic make it too, uh, too easy, don't they? This is the hose from the MBV, the conical hose. And with this end taken off, look, it, it just screws straight onto there. So you don't even maybe have to butcher these tools at all. Although I can't imagine, yeah, you're not going to... Oh, ha, 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 ha. Look at that, it does! So although we, we have no bag fitting and probably no point in even borrowing... forgot about that. <laughs> you can put your whole hand in there. Oh, the handle bale is getting loose. It's missing its like rubbery grip in there. So, excellent. That is the tools played with. However, the only thing we really immediately want is what's already fitted to the machine. Yes, the problem is we're never going to be able to use the tools and the machine for cleaning because what we need this for is for this. This is a pattern me in the bag and it's not you know the tightest fit in the world but it sits on there perfectly fine enough for doing little demonstrations like this we can sit it onto here and lock it into place oh there's the other lock there it is and suddenly we have ourselves yeah. Our little colostomy bag, which is time to put some dirt down. Yay! And with ourselves a nice little bit of mess down, I think it's going to do rather well. vacuums that wouldn't do that well. And look at the vibration. Wonderful, and our bag is now very full indeed. We'll just take that off so that ah, we don't get it everywhere. Do we stick a new belt on it? I think we may as well attempt it because I can hear it slowing down, especially where it goes over under the other rug. Let's give it a go at least. Now the phrase make sure that you're unplugged before doing any of this was pretty much written for these machines. I mean, you certainly hurt yourself doing it to a Dyson and it turn on on you. But, 
you'll lose a hand before you notice on a machine like this. So we'll take the belt off. Ah, oh, and then actually I've got a screwdriver out to take this plate off, but I don't think we actually need to, although I bet we'll need the screwdriver to just lift this up because even though everything's been cleaned and oiled, ah, it's still a bit of a sod. Here is the brush roll look. We may as well have a look at it as well. It came up very nicely indeed. It's a little bit... I think this is probably what's making some of the noise. And yeah, here is the belt. And I mean, it's doing okay. It's certainly pretty, pretty worn. But I don't know if it's stretched or... I just had these as being a little bit bigger than stuff like this. Although I do make two different sizes of belt in here. There's certainly a smaller kind and a bigger kind. So maybe, actually, I think we probably just want to put this big belt on and leave these little ones. What's this big one? DBB0031. Let's see. I reckon that's probably a fantastic match. See if it puts any strain on the motor. needed a new belt that was amazing and um, brilliant and I think we're going to call it there stage one is certainly done she works absolutely fantastically in fact what we might do quickly now is take that nice new belt off so it doesn't go all stretch while we store this machine always do that folks especially with these round belts they snap so easily things left to do well we shall see this again once I've painted the handle and got it truly good. I mean, I did do some painting. I did paint this top piece. I mean, not well, as you can see, but it certainly made it back again. So the handle will get roughly the same treatment. Rub that down, clean that up. Find the rubber bush that should sit in there and keep that locked in tight to stop it from shorting out on us, as it has been doing. And this will be done. So I hope you like it. I hope that you think it's as pretty as I do. Do you have an old coffee can like this? I mean, we've got three. In fact, this makes two of them done. This and the 875. So two down, one to go. I hope you have enjoyed. And I and this very old vintage Hoover will see you soon. Bye-bye.